guys, how's it going? Welcome to my new book haul video. So last week I showed you half of the books that I acquired over the past month and today I'm going to show you um, the other half of them. There's still quite a lot of them that I need to show you so um, with no further delay let's jump right in and get started with that. So the first thing I want to show you is a box of books that I received from Simon & Schuster US and that's Mortal Instruments 1 to 5. I believe that's the whole collection, right? I'm not even sure. I've only read like the first three books and that was way, way long ago and I don't actually remember most of the stuff um, that happened in the books. So I'm gonna have to reread the whole thing, but the good news is um, this sounds like a perfect winter read um, slash Christmas read so I'm actually looking forward to catching up on everything and finally finishing the series. The next few books I got are from Thomas Allen and Son and the first one is What Came From the Stars by Gary D. Schmidt. I haven't heard anything about this book but it looks really nice and interesting and I actually really enjoy reading books that I haven't heard much about. Um, interested to find out what it is about and let you guys know how it was. The next one I also got from Thomas Allen and Son and that's Sons of the 613 by Michael Rubens. I haven't heard anything about this one either but um, the cover is really cool right so I'm actually very um, interested to find out what this book is about and both of these authors are male so um, that's kind of perfect for my Men in YA um, second edition that's coming up in March of 2013 so um, be on the lookout for my reviews then. I also got Dead is a Killer Tune by Marlene Perez and I think that's like um, seventh or sixth book in a Dead series. These are short and very entertaining reads from what I heard so um, yeah looking forward to reading these. Also from Thomas Allen and Son, I got Scorch by Gina um, D'Amico. D'Amico, I hope I'm getting that right. That's the sequel to Croak, and I have Croak, and I haven't read it yet, but it's one of the books that I actually do want to read. So um, the cover is pretty cool, and it's very shiny and kind of silvery, so I'm actually really liking this. and. Yeah, looking forward to reading it. From the source books Fire, I got The Twisted Tragedy of Miss Natalie Stewart by um, an author that I cannot pronounce her name. Um, yeah, so this is the sequel to Darker Still and that just came out recently at the beginning of November. I haven't read Darker Still yet, but I am going to read it this week to catch up so that I can review this one as well. And the cover is just so pretty, I love it absolutely love this cover. From Tor, I got People of the Black Sun by Kathleen O'Neill Gear and W. Michael Gear. The books are awesome and full of historical details and they tend to focus on First Nations and their stories and they're amazing and I highly recommend their books. There are like so many of them already published but they're all amazing and very detailed and they read like really good adventure stories. Very excited to find out how this book is. From Random House US I got A Christmas Home by Greg Kincaid and this is um, kind of a Christmassy novel. It's not what I would usually read, but I figured since Christmas is coming up, I kind of feel in the mood for um, a Christmassy mood lifting story um, that's gonna make me smile and all warm inside. And I think this one is um, the book to go with. So I'm very excited to read it. Um, my review will be posted on the blog at the beginning of December, so be sure to stop by and check it out. One more book that I got from Thomas Allen and Son, um, that's The Hallowed Ones by Laura Bacall. This book has quite an interesting premise. It's about vampires in an Amish society. So how cool is that? The cover is awesome and I've heard amazing things about this book, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. I should be able to read it next week, so hopefully I'll get to review it soon as well. From Simon and Schuster US, I got The Bracelet by Roberta Gately. This was a novel that I got through the Shelf Awareness program, and um, I believe that's like a historical fiction. The cover is beautiful. I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well. 
Spencer Hill Press, I got Touch of Death by Kelly Hashway. The cover is so pretty. No idea what the book is about, but it looks um, gorgeous. So I'll definitely be um, picking it up soon. Together with the book, I also got some swag, including some really cool tattoos, some really nice stickers, postcard featuring Elixir but from the Covenant series by um, Jennifer L. Amentrod and um, bookmark Masters of the Veil and another bookmark from Cursed. From Tor I also got um, In a Fix by Linda Grimes and I already had a copy of that so I'm not exactly sure why I received this one but that's good news for you because I'll be hosting a giveaway soon. And also from Tor I got Immortal Surrender, a hot looking novel. Uh, I actually feel like something more adult these days so this sounds like a really good um, story to check out. And the last book I got this week is one that I'm the most excited about and that's Shadowlands by Kate Bryan. Um, I got this one from Disney Hyperion and I'm just so in love with the cover and so in love with the premise of this book. Those who've read it already um, have been saying that this book is really awesome and amazing and I'm super super excited to finally dive into it and check out um, what the story is about. This one publishes in January so um, I'll be reading it pretty soon and I'll let you know how this book is. This week I also committed a sin of net galling. If you don't know what net galling is, it's um, recklessly going and clicking request on the galley. I got approved for quite a lot of exciting titles so um, I don't usually show them on my book haul videos but this week I'm gonna make an exception and I'm gonna show off. So the first one I got is Moonset by Scott Tracy and Scott Tracy is the guy responsible for the witch series like the witch eyes and um, I haven't read this one but um, I think it's pretty cool and this one is about witches as well and it sounds pretty intense and adventurous so I'm really looking forward to reading it. The next one I got is If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch and this is from Bloomsbury Kids I think. It sounds very good as well and it's more of a realistic story and I actually um, I've read a couple of pages of this one and it's so well written. I highly recommend um, requesting it on the galley if you get a chance. It's it looks pretty awesome. I also got Hysteria by Megan Miranda and this is um, the author of Fractured and this book sounds amazing. Yeah, it looks so good. The cover is so creepy. And the last book I got on the galley this week is Me, Him, Them and It by Kayla Carter and I think that's um, sort of like a pregnancy themed contemporary novel and I do love those and I'm really looking forward to finding out if this one is going to um, live up to my expectations and that's it for Nagali this week I also requested a bunch of titles from Penguin Teen but these guys consistently ignore me so I haven't heard back from them yet I also bought a couple of books on Amazon including Magisterium by um, Jeff Hirsch and um, Breed by Chase Novak and that one was a recommendation from Jenny from Alluring Reads and she was totally right about it. This book is insane. I love reading it. It's so freaking creepy and oh my god that ending. Seriously. I cannot wait for Brood and um, yeah if you get a chance and you like horror stories then read it. This is it for me this week. That's all I've got. So hope you guys had an amazing first week of November and um, you got some amazing books as well. Looking forward to seeing your book hauls, um, IMMs, whatever, anything you have there to show me. Well, maybe not anything, but your bookish related stuff. Happy reading and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! The Twisted Thread <coughs> That looks awesome and I really, really...